I'm finally getting a dual widescreen setup for my computer, something I've never had in the past. To prepare for this momentous occasion, I'm building a stacked dual landscape stand out of PVC. To see how I do this, stay tuned. This project, more so than others in the past, I felt was a bit high risk. I'm going to build a stand to hold two monitors. The risk comes with rather than having the monitors side by side, I'm going to mount the monitors on the stand in a stacked configuration or one above the other. My worry is, if not designed correctly, it could topple over and ruin both monitors. Here you can see the basic design of the stand. The red pieces are the PVC joints and the blue lines are the PVC pipes. It took me a while to come up with a concept I felt good about, but I think I've got something I can trust. I feel this design has the strength and stability to support two monitors in a stacked landscape setup. Of course, there's only one way to really find out, so let's get started. These are the parts for the base of the stand. The four PVC pipes are 12 inches long. Assemble all four sides, but keeping one of the sides with its elbows separate from the rest. Straighten and align each of the assembled sides on a flat surface as shown here. Secure each of the assembled sides with one screw per connection. Fill both assembled sides with crushed rocks, leaving a little empty space to allow combining the assembled sections together. Connect the sides and secure with screws. And that's it! This is the base of the monitor stand. For the monitor mounting bracket, I'll cut out two 4 and one half inch square pieces from a 16 gauge sheet of steel. When you have even a small sheet of this stuff, it feels like it's not stiff enough as a mounting plate, but I'll have to see how that goes. I'll cut out the sheet using a hacksaw with a straight edge. The straight edge will eliminate the step of cutting just outside the line, then sanding the cut edge to the line. To mark the location of the four mounting holes to be drilled, I used a mounting bracket from an old monitor stand. The hole locations are industry standard and should line up correctly. When drilling, I start with a small drill bit and gradually work my way up in size, redrilling the same hole till I get to an 11 64 inch hole. 11 64 inch sounds like an odd size, but that's due to the fact many of the drill bits in my set are missing and that's the closest size I have to the ideal size I want. I'm sure some of you may have that same dilemma. Mark the center of the plug by drawing lines between opposite corners. The center is where the lines intersect. Mark the center of the sheet by drawing a line between both opposite corners. Center punch both centers, then starting with a small drill bit and gradually working your way up. Keep redrilling the same hole till you get to the 5 16th inch drill bit. Before I can do the next step, I'll need to drill out the quarter inch fender washers to 5 16th inch. Insert the 5 16th inch bolt through the metal sheet, the plug, and the washer. Then secure everything in place with the nut. With the bolt head sticking out, that would obstruct the monitor when it's attached to the mount. To prevent this, crazy glue or goop the quarter inch nuts over the mounting holes so they can act as spacers between the mounting plate and the monitor. My plan is to build the stand in sections, testing its stability for one monitor before moving on to build the section for the next monitor. Before I go through the assembly of the stand for the first monitor, I want to go over how I calculated the measurement of the vertical pipe. For the most part, you could eyeball it, but I wanted to see if I could figure out the exact vertical pipe measurement by taking all the other measurements into account and extrapolating the pipe measurement from that. In this drawing, my measuring and simple math came out to a vertical pipe length of 5 and 21 30 seconds. That's the mixed number you see in green with a circle around it. So now onto the assembly. The assembly is pretty simple. It's more just a matter of securing everything in place with screws. Here I'm assembling the entire section that will hold the bottom monitor in landscape orientation. 
As you can see, I've already dry lubed the PVC ends that will connect for easier removal in the future. All measurements from the monitor have been taken into account to allow the monitor to sit with its bottom edge against the PVC of the base. For me this works because I'm at a standing desk where the desk is just below chest level. For others you may need to have the monitor sit higher. If you do, it's just a matter of extending the three vertical pipes by the same amount for each. Here's the stand up to this point. I've already taken it to work and test fitted it with a single 24 inch monitor and the fit was perfect. The monitor rests on the base as planned. Everything seems very sturdy and it looks like I can move ahead with building the mounts for the second monitor. For the second monitor, my plan is for it to rest edge to edge with the lower monitor. So there will be as little bezel as possible between the two. I also want a slight downward facing tilt since it will be a little high. There aren't that many parts for this section. Here in front of the assembled lower monitor mount, you can see the pieces needed for the upper monitor mount. One mistake I made assembling the lower section is that I assembled the pieces from the bottom up. You can see it in this clip from earlier in this video. It made connecting the uppermost pieces a little harder than it needed to be. The less troublesome way, as I'll demonstrate here assembling the upper section, would have been to assemble the parts that sit on the vertical pipes first, insert the vertical pipes into the joints, then connect the parts built first on top of the vertical pipes all at once. So this is the completed monitor stand. All connections have one screw securing them except for the upper T that mounts the monitor. I'll leave this unsecured until I can mount both monitors and angle them so that the bezel through the middle where they touch is as little as possible. After that, I'll secure the T. This was a challenging project for me because I did not have the monitors on hand to see how things fit throughout the construction. A lot more preliminary measuring and calculating was necessary to be sure everything would come together as planned. I hope this video can help you get the right monitor configuration for your computing setup. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section down below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.